my name's Tom, I'm a painter and decorator, I work for Aspect Maintenance and I'm going to show you how we would uh, finish just a, a wooden countertop uh, and also if you're ever looking to paint um, you know, kitchen, kitchen cupboards and furniture etc, etc, this sort of stuff, what you just need to remember first of all if you're painting onto these shiny surfaces like this is it's going to need what's called a melamine primer so something that basically prepares this surface to be overpainted first because if you try and paint on this with a normal oil based uh, undercoat or gloss or eggshell it's not going to stick it's going to just peel straight back so once you've put a, a melamine primer on it will usually take two two coats um, leave it to dry then you put your undercoat on and uh, your top coat obviously you can choose whichever color you like um, it's going to take quite a few coats it's just bear in mind it's quite labor intensive so if you're going to do a kitchen um, what, you know units say what we've got here four it's going to take you uh, probably five coats before you've got it to a stage where it looks finished so it's going to take you quite a long time with the worktop here this has just uh, been sanded back it's a wooden uh, work worktop which usually you can varnish it but what tends to be the look most people are after now is just to oil it which basically protects the wood against uh, grease stains um, and any food or whatever you put on the top it stops it getting into the grain quite as quickly and damaging the wood um, the oil is a very flat finish it won't come up very shiny and high gloss like a like a varnish um, just remember that if you if you're oiling your worktop you're going to need to redo it every four to five weeks is what they recommend you might be able to leave it longer but you will have to go back to it every now and again you can put the oil on just with a rag so if you get a dishcloth or a, an old flannel cut, cut it into pieces you soak the oil into that and then you just work it into the grain over and over and if, if you do that probably the first time two or three times it's going to take a few coats just to let the uh, the wood soak in the oil um, that's going to give you a nice even finish and then all you need to do is go back to that um, after four to five weeks when it starts to um, discolor or you think it's, it's looking a bit bare you just put another coat over the top just to keep it nice and sealed and that's how you'd uh, that's how you'd look after a wooden countertop